So last night, Lou dropped two 45 minute videos explaining her side. I'm gonna explain the main points because it was a lot of repeating and black stream, which I get it. Lou never edited a YouTube video before, but let's get into this video because Lou spilled a lot. Now Lou started from the very beginning, which I understood why she did that because she did admit by Tay in her second date, she moved in with her, which she said that was her first mistake. She should have kept her own place, got to know Tay, and she would have saw a lot of red flags that she didn't see until she moved in with Tay. She also revealed when she moved in with Tay that Tay was living with two other women which was Tay's exes, which she didn't find that out until later on. Also in the beginning, Lou revealed that Tay asked her to quit her job. Lou was an atmosphere model who made a lot of club appearances and Tay didn't like her job, so she told her to quit her job, which Lou did. So now Lou is unemployed. She's depending on Tay, which Tay is controlling everything. And this is when her controlling ways came in. One of the ways that she tried to control Lou was never giving Lou a key to any of their residents. Now they moved five times in total throughout their whole relationship. Three out of five times that they did move, they moved in with Tay's exes. Now, another way Tay tried to control Lou, according to Lou, is with her phone. She knew that was her only way to communicate with her daughter. Her daughter didn't live in the same state as her. She lived with her father, and the phone was the only way that she could communicate with her daughter, and Tay knew this, and she took full advantage of that. Every time they had an altercation, she would take the phone, and she wouldn't give her back her phone for multiple days, so she wasn't in contact with her daughter for several days. It came to a point Lou said that she had to hide her phone every time they had an altercation, and that's what started a lot of their fights because she was fighting for her phone back because she wanted to talk to her daughter and Tay knew this and this is how a lot of the altercations started. So real quick, I was sent this video, shout out to Royalty's World. Last night, Tay posted a TikTok with Lou's baby father. Now I think they were hinting that they might be sitting down doing a video together talking about Lou, but stay tuned for that. Back to the video. Lou also mentioned YouTube. She said it was Tay's choice to start YouTube. So Tay was the one that set up the YouTube channel. She put her name on the W2 form. Is a reason why I'm mentioning that. Keep that in your mind. Also, Tay had all of the YouTube money coming directly to her bank account. So Lou said that she never received any physical payment. She said that she felt like an employee who never got paid. Whenever she wanted to eat, Tay paid for it. Whenever she wanted something, Tay would pay directly, but she never gave her any physical money. So she never had control of any of the money. And this is when she started talking about Tay's gambling problem. Listen. Apparently she is saying that I pushed her to a dark place and that made her gamble. When I met Tay, she was a gambler. She scratched off tickets, every corner store. Whenever we went to go get anything from out the corner store in Brooklyn, she got a ticket. Um, this was a part of her personality when I first met her. We used to go to Vegas for Tay so that she can gamble. Um, Tay is a, is a happy gambler. Um, she's not sad when she's gambling. Um, she is sad when she loses. Very sad, very reactive, very, very a lot. And it's scary to be around when she loses. Um, she's always been like that. I have never pushed her to a dark place to go gamble. Lou also spoke on the alleged altercation between them. I have not watched the YouTube video that Tay has put out. I have not watched any of her streams that she's done since all of this has transpired. And I have not watched not one Instagram um, story. Now what I have had is my closest people tell me verbatim what was going on, you guys. I don't care to see her face in any capacity. And honestly, mentally, I can't handle it. I can't handle seeing that. Um, even though I stand by those videos and everything she showed y'all, and we will be going over that soon, <sighs> to tell you guys all the ins and outs of everything that I went through in this situation, because at the end of the day, I stayed. There was fighting continuously, you guys. I never want y'all to think whenever we had a happy moment, we did not fight. We fought continuously. And when I say fight, I'm not meaning yeah, 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 yeah. It started always as a yeah, 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 yeah. And then someone would take my phone or someone would pull, no, Tay would take my phone or rip off my wig or aggress me in some type of way. And I told you guys every time I'm going to show up and very well show out. Lou also spoke about her drinking problem. I, I need to make this very clear. The drinking. I drink. I enjoy drinking. I drink. However, everything she's shown y'all on those videos, those are partial truths, completely partial truths. Manipulated, but partial, because I tell you guys right now, every bottle that was in that house she bought, I had no money for bottles. I had no funds. So whatever bottle she bought in that house, she would regulate my drinking, even though 
I would look at it as cute in the beginning. Towards the end, it was freaking mind-boggling because she can pick and choose whenever she wants to drink, but I can't pick and choose whenever I wanted to drink. And I asked her about it. Oh, well, when you do it, we end up fighting. When she'd do it, we'd end up fighting. We'd end up fighting whether we were drinking or not. However, my levels of drunkness all depended on the big the bottle to which that was brought in that house by Tay and we drank that together I was never allowed you guys to go to the liquor store by myself and choose a bottle by myself and bring it back to that house I was not allowed to she controlled it all and if you guys look at our TikTok streams in the beginning you will see she will always pour the shots she will always she would control it all and what she would say is oh you can't control yourself you can't do that you can't do that and she shows you got you guys these things and y'all like oh no you can't control yourself oh no I can control myself very well I can control myself very well. I'm actually quite fun at times. However, if you're drinking with me, Tay, and we're both drinking the same amount of liquor because you are giving this to us, you guys, I'm a different stature than this woman. Liquor affects everyone differently. So if I'm slurring and she isn't slurring, that does not mean she was not drinking no less or no more. We both drank together as a couple. That's what we did. It was a part of the aesthetic of our relationship. We drank. So her just saying, oh, I was a drink. I Sorry. I was a drunk. I was a drunk. I was a drunk. I guess we were drunks because she drank right along with me. And only time she got upset is when I ever, when, whenever I fight her back. And then all of a sudden, oh, you drink too much. Well, you were drinking with me. If my drinking was such an issue, why would she keep on drinking with me on every stream? If she was so afraid that I was turning into this monster as soon as I started drinking, because that's what she told me as to why I wasn't allowed to get my own liquor. Because she, I didn't want nobody pouring every shot for me because I know I won't get crazy as long as you don't pop crazy. No, you can't do that. It was all up to her, you guys. She controlled the um, alcohol. Now, real quick, I was editing the video and I was gonna read all those messages, but it was too much. So I'm just gonna sum it up. You are gonna see the messages as I'm talking about things that Lou talked about at the end of the video. Basically, this is Lou's proof to show that Tay was still reaching out to her even after the breakup, after she moved out of the house because she wanted her to do videos with her. So Tay kept reaching out to Lou, but Lou wasn't responding back. And Lou said in the text messages that she needed a minute to herself. And Tay felt like she was kind of brushing her off. And she's like, yo you agreed that we was gonna work together still even though you're not in the house and we're not together we are supposed to still do videos but Lou wasn't feeling up to doing videos so Tay gave up and basically wished her well Lou also stated that she didn't understand why Tay was saying that she was scared of her because at the end of their relationship Tay didn't want her to move out she wanted her to stay and make more YouTube videos and Lou didn't want to do that she said that she wasn't going to continue living with her knowing that she's talking to other women which allegedly she's saying that Tay was flirting with a lot of her moderators or TikTok. So the it you know here's the thing, Kimmy. Outside of TikTok, Red is in my personal life. She knows a lot about my feelings. She knows that I am single and unavailable. Right, Red? <laughs> which there are videos with Lou yelling in the background because she was very upset that Tay was talking inappropriately with these women. But Lou didn't want to stay in the household, but she was willing to still help her make videos. But Tay was trying to convince her to stay in the house because she owed $100,000 to the IRS. She never did her taxes and she owed money. Keep in mind, I told y'all that she was the only one on the W-2 form because she was the one that set up a YouTube channel. She put her name on the W-2 form. So Lou's name is not attached to anything, but Lou said that she walked away from the situation broke. All of those videos that they were doing, all of that money is gone, according to Lou. Hold you down how? I don't have nothing to hold you down with. I have no money to hold you down financially. I have no happiness to hold you down emotionally. I have no peace to hold you down peacefully. I don't have it. I need to exit and I understand that. We're done, done. I get it. Like, okay, so Me. 
Okay. Shut up. I said. The plan has always been to, like, I really, like, I, this is really making me sick. The, the plan has always been to do this practice video. And I well, you need to give me a schedule. Because what I'm not going to do is I can't be in the house, but obviously I have to do YouTube because you feel like I'm shitting on you. I don't want you to feel like that. Like, I don't. I want fucking closure from this shit. I want to be done, done. But I don't want to see you no more. So with that being said, I cannot live there. So if you know you want to do a YouTube video on me, yo, hit me up. I don't know what to do. That shit doesn't even seem like it could actually be a, a real thing that's happening. But it can't be a real thing, me in your house either. Let's so, which one is it? That's again, this is all a personal All because decision. of me. It's all because I can do it, but I'm choosing just to shit on you. But that's you, my this issue. It's a personal decision. You can decide to be an adult and actually pay the motherfucking bills and get out of your motherfucking house. I'm trying. I am trying to come up with a way to make money. Love me when you get a one in the moons. I'm gonna just wait till you finish. Because you make it bright when it's dimmest. I see the light in your spirit. You my spiritual healer. I felt the evil of woman, and it made me indifferent. Should have been treating you different.